Welcome to Centroid's Acorn bench test video. We will follow the bench test procedure outlined in the Acorn installation manual. Go to centroidcnc.com's Acorn page to download and print out a copy. This bench test is to be performed when you receive your new Acorn and prior to installing it into your system. It ensures that the Acorn is functioning properly and that your CNC PC is correctly configured. It is a requirement that you confirm solid communication between the new Acorn and a properly configured CNC PC. And that is what we are going to show in this video. Please don't perform this bench test on any conductive surface. A wooden table is best. The Acorn comes in an anti-static bag which may be used to isolate. The CNC PC we'll be using for this bench test is the Intel Nook. The Nook is available on Centroid's website with Windows 10 already pre-configured for CNC control use and with CNC 12 software for Acorn pre-installed. Now let's get everything connected for the bench test. On the back of the quick start guide included with your Acorn is the basic power and communication schematic for the bench test. It illustrates how to connect the power supply, relay board, and CNC PC to the Acorn. The schematic is available at Centroid's website in the DIY Acorn section. First, connect the relay board. Then connect the logic power. Connect the Ethernet cable first to the CNC PC, then to the Acorn. Plug in the power supply. The relay board and the Acorn both light up. Check that the Acorn has a heartbeat. It's a blue LED next to the Ethernet port. It should blink when connected to power. This ensures that the Acorn is booted up and properly working. And now to set up your Windows 10 CNC PC to work with Centroid CNC 12 software. Afterwards, we will download CNC 12 software for Acorn from Centroid's website, so you'll need to be connected to the internet. First, make sure all Windows updates have been downloaded and installed. Go to the Start menu, select the gear icon for Windows settings, then Update and Security. Click Check for Updates. Download and install any updates available. And since Acorn communicates via Ethernet, you will want to download and install any device driver updates from your PC manufacturer's website. Click on the back arrow to return to Windows Settings main menu. Select Time and Language. Toggle Set Time Automatically to Off and close Windows Settings. You will need administrator rights to make the necessary changes to your CNC PC. So go to the control panel, click Change Account Type, select the account you will be using, then click on Change the Account Type and make sure Administrator is selected. Now you can return to the main control panel window and begin the changes. Click System and Security, Security and Maintenance, then Change Security and Maintenance Settings. Clear all the checkmarked messages so that none of them pop up while running a job. select Change User Account Control Settings. Move the slider to the bottom to disable notifications about app changes to your CNC PC. Click the Up menu arrow again and select Windows Defender Firewall. Click Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off and turn off the firewalls for both private and public settings. The number one cause of communication problems between Acorn and the CNC PC is firewall related so we are turning it off for the bench test only. Click the Up menu once more and this time select Power Options. Choose the High Performance option. You may need to click Show Additional Plans to find it. Click on Change Plan Settings. Make sure Turn Off the Display is set to Never. Below that, click on Change Advanced Power Settings and the Power Options window appears. Set the hard disk to never turn off by changing the value to zero. Then, toggle the USB Selective Suspend setting to Disabled. Lastly, change Turn Off Display setting to Never. Click Apply, then OK. The Power Options window closes, 
Then click Save Changes. Close the control panel. Next, download CNC12 from CentroidCNC.com. Click on Shop DIY CNC. Click on Acorn. Then scroll down until you reach the links list and click on Software Downloads. On this page is a list of instructions and links to ensure your CNC PC in Windows 10 is correctly configured, as we just covered. Once they are, go ahead and download Acorn CNC 12. Open the file and start setup. If the Windows Defender warning window pops up, just click More Info, then Run Anyway, and CNC 12 setup begins. First, the license agreement and disclaimer information opens. Read it and click I agree. Click next for the installation of the desktop shortcut. Select Miller Lathe. Select Imperial or Metric and installation begins. Once the progress bar is completed, click next and finish and you're done. If your Acorn board is powered up and connected to your CNC PC via a shielded Ethernet cable, you may start the CNC 12 software. It first reboots and updates the Acorn board, so do not power off the board as bricking may occur. With everything configured and connected properly, CNC 12 and the virtual control panel open. This means the Acorn board and CNC PC are communicating. From here, take the Acorn out of eStop by pressing Reset and home the axis by pressing Cycle Start. Press the Axis Direction buttons and observe the position readouts to check that your Acorn is functioning. And that concludes the initial bench test. You are now ready to move on to bench testing Axis Motor commands and movements. But before we go, here is a common troubleshooting tip in case you are unsuccessful in getting your Acorn board to communicate with your CNC PC. We will perform a quick ping test to make sure the Ethernet ports of the CNC PC and Acorn board have the proper static IP addresses assigned to them. In the Windows 10 search bar, type command prompt and select it. Type ping space 10.168.41.1 and hit enter. This tells Windows to ping the CNC PC's local Ethernet port at the static IP address CNC12 assigned to it. The correct result should be 4 packets sent, 4 received, with 0 loss. If you don't get this result, check that the CNC PC's manufacturer's device drivers are up to date, as well as any Windows updates. Next type ping space 10.168.41.2, the Acorn board's Ethernet IP address. Hit enter and watch the green LED on the Acorn's Ethernet plug. It should blink in time with the pings. If you don't get the four packets sent and received with zero loss message, check that the Acorn has power, or check the Ethernet cable, or check the Windows firewall. That does it for the initial Acorn bench test. Next, we'll do a bench test with motors and drives connected to the Acorn. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>